shall see close to thee, close to thee. Thou my everlasting portion, more than friend or life to me. All along my pilgrim journey, Savior, let me walk with thee, close to thee, close to thee, close to thee, close to thee.
shall stand to our feet as we ask our precious brother, Brother Owe, to come and open with the word of prayer, singing the same chorus. Dino kudai zai she uyai ne pa Dino kudai zai she Shall we pray? Precious eternal heavenly Father, it's indeed our prayer this evening that may you pass by this place. Lord God, any gathering that we can do in your absence, Lord, we will gather in vain. That's why in your Bible you said, whosoever shall build a city, Lord God, without you, he will build it in vain. Even if he that guarded it, he will guard it in vain. Lord God, may you be in our midst this night. I pray, dear God, that may you forgive us all of our shortcomings. Heavenly Father, Lord God, may your spirit come and move freely in our midst. There are many, Lord God, in our midst, Lord God, who are going through difficulties in their health, in their finances. But Lord God, this evening, we have come to save a miracle working God. I pray, Lord, that by the end of this service, Lord God, may we go home rejoicing, saying surely our request has been answered. Lord, I pray that may you take us back to old time religion. Heavenly Father, Lord God, just exactly like what happened on the day of Pentecost, you didn't need to ask them what really happened, but you could actually tell that something has happened. Lord, even those, Heavenly Father, who meet us outside of church, Lord God, may they confess that these people have something special in them. I pray, Lord, that may you touch our precious brother who is leading the songs of Zion this evening. Heavenly Father, I pray even for the minister that may use him in a special way. In Jesus' precious name, we commit this whole service into your hands. Amen and amen. Amen. Feeling so much better Talking about this good old way Feeling so much better, talking about the Lord's so Let's go, let's go, talking about this good old way. Let's go, let's go, talking about the Lord. The devil, he don't like it, talking about this good old way. The devil. Oh! 
The Lord God bless you. Are you happy to be in the presence of God? Are you again happy to be in the house of the Lord? Praise God. Amen, amen. We thank God for his call today, but uh, we can see that uh, the church is almost yeah. Amen. Yeah. God bless you richly. Without uh, wasting of our time, we can just stand up for the reading of the word of God. We start reading the word of God in the book of uh, First Peter chapter 2 and we read two verses. Verse 24 to 25. The Bible reads this. Who is on self bear our sin in his own body on the on, on, on the tree that we being dead in sin, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye we were healed. For ye were as sheep going astray. But are now return unto the shepherd and the bishop of our souls. May the Lord bless the reading of the word. We may be seated. I greet you once more again this evening. And God bless you richly for being present in his presence. A lot of people, they could not understand why God was always saying that David was the man after the heart of God. But to own my understanding is because David loved God and to love God is to do what God requires us to do. 
And David was one of the men who was too zealous of things of God. But here, the Bible is telling us that uh, we must bear and uh, we must return. Take another turn to go back to our pastor, to the bishop. And here I understood that uh, this bishop is not just a pastor and a bishop, he's also the keeper of our souls. So we understand that the pastor, Jesus Christ, is the keeper and the guardian of our souls. So when we are walking, we must be careful. And we make, any time when we discover that we were far from him, on the spots, we must take a decision to make a turn, to make a U-turn. To go back to him. Because in him we are safe. Amen. So Peter. He realized that. So that we must go and return. Make a U-turn to, to our pastor. The keeper of our souls. Because the things of God. Or Christian life. Is all about the soul. God does no matter with the body. God does not treat with the body. The body is just the envelope. Because the soul must be somewhere. And Brother Branham said in a certain message, he said that the soul, the heart of man, there is a space where there is no blood, where there is a chamber, there is a small space. And according to him, is where the soul dwells. Amen. And these souls must have a guardian. These souls must have a guide, the, the, the guider. These souls must have someone to lead. How to use it. How to keep it. You cannot do with it whatever you want to do. And the Bible says that the souls which uh, sineth shall die. Amen. So sin is connected to the body, but it goes straight to the soul. Amen. Brother Branham speaking about uh, a certain jewel cloth. And said there was a field. Someone is filled. And there was also the bed. That bird was going to eat the seeds. Someone is seed in someone is field. Stealing. Amen. Always this bird will fly. Will go to the field of someone. Someone is field. And will start picking up the corns. The wheat in the field. The farmer in the, 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 the field of someone. It wasn't not his field. It was someone's field. But he's going there to steal. When the owner comes and he noticed that the bed was always coming there, said that I will make a trap. I will make a trap. Took a decision to make a trap, a nice one. Put it there. Amen. And this bird will come again. Fly. They will, this time around there are so many. Fly. Start picking up. But not knowing that uh, they, there is a trap. And one of them was catch on the leg. When the others they finished to eat now. Said, Let us now go back. Said no me I cannot fly. They said but. Fly! Let us go. He said, I cannot fly. I can't. I'm, I am blind. So the other said, no, not, 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 no. we can just leave him. Then they left him there. He was there. Bind. And you know the rope has the limitation. The rope has the limitation. So he was just sitting around there. 
He was just reading, eating around there. And when he reached the boundaries, where this road cannot go far, far as where he was limited, he started now losing. He became slim. And he was there, ready to die. Amen. This bed was stealing in somebody's field. The owner of the field said, I will put the trap. I will trap them, actually. And this trap was not for nothing. They've eaten already some of his wits. So they became partner of the field. And this man put the, the trap. And this bed was there. He could not enjoy. He became so weak. The legs or the feet become so heavy. Because he was not moving anymore. And the rope. Now he's even getting used to the rope. He knows that uh, I cannot go further than there. My limitation is here. Hallelujah. My limitation is here. Amen. So one day, it was a good day for him. One man, one Samaritan, a good Samaritan was passing by. And he saw the bed was so weak. And the bed was finished actually. He decided just because the rope was there. Just cut the rope without telling you anything to the bed. Amen. Cut the rope and he passed. And the bed was there. First day, second day, a week, the bed was there. It's not flying. But the rope was cut. And you and I were that bed. Stealing in fornication in the field of Satan. Stealing, speaking lies, doing things. But when the master came, he cut the road. And we were free. Amen. Free. Not because we call him to come. He came by himself. He noticed our stage. And he took the decision to come. And he cut the rope. And thus, because we are using that situation, free already. But we still, acting like we are roped, acting like we are tight, acting like we are bind. We cannot go further. Hitting just in the circle. Not moving further. You know where we are coming from back home in Congo? If you go to visit to the village, myself, I went to the village one time. They give me chicken. They, they cook first the chicken for me. I ate there. And they give me another chicken to go with so that I can uh, eat with my siblings. So I took the chicken home. Because of the distance, the chicken was bite. And when we reach home, we say, no. We usually have that tradition of to keep that chicken from the village for some time. Then we have a day, the day of the chicken. Then we eat the chicken in the family. Amen. So when you come with that chicken, I don't know in Zim, I don't know in Malawi, how you do you do. But us, we're keeping the chicken aside. Then we invite it again, put it to the tree somewhere so that it can get use of the place, the new place. Amen. And when it's come now time to eat the chicken, or when it's come the time that to say, no, we can keep him again, can keep it again for some days. Let us free it so that he knows already the place. You'll take the rope. You remove the rope. But the chicken will stay there. It needs some move. They need someone to come and shake it a bit. Then it can, you know. I, I could not go this far. Oh, I'm free. Then you start like learning how to walk. You start like learning how to walk. You will not walk there. Then you can walk. Hallelujah. Amen. But Jesus Christ, 
Always when there is a situation, will tell the disciples, the nature does not cheat you. So if a chicken can do that, then when he take the conscience, he said, no, now I can walk, then he walk. But you, when you are in that situation of binds, because you are eating in someone's fields, but you are free now. Why can't you move and go far? Why can't you move and go far? Why can't you fly far? You're still enjoying that place where there is nothing anymore. There is nothing because everything was been eaten. Actually, it's rotten. And you eat it because there was nothing. Yeah, man. Yeah. We cannot stay there. Yeah. You must take a decision like the, 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 the discharge, uh, the prodigal son. He reached a certain level. He said, no, I cannot stay like this. I've eaten enough with pigs. Now I have to take a decision to go home. The only thing with him, he never lost the address of the place. He knew where he came from. And he took the decision to go. To go back to the father. He said, in my father's house, even the lowest level of men, they can eat. Amen. But you are saying that you are in the father's house. You cannot even eat. I'm not talking here about your food. I'm not talking about your cabbage. I'm not talking about what you left at home. I'm talking about the food. The food which can give you strength. The food which can take you from this rim to get into the spiritual rim. The food which can give you strength to stand and speak to the Lord God. I'm talking about that food. This prodigal son, he said, I cannot stay in this situation. I have to go back. I don't know. That maybe was the first time for him to see the pig. Because I cannot believe and imagine that in the house of the king can be pig somewhere. No. But he took the decision to go back. Let us read uh, the book of Hebrew. Hebrew 1.14. Amen. God bless you richly. We read in the book of uh, Hebrew. <coughs> Hebrews 14. You got there? No, Hebrews 1, 14. Yeah. They are not all ministering spirits sent forth. The minister for them who shall be there of salvation. The Lord Jesus Christ, when in heaven there was this mighty angel who participated actually in the creation. He saw everything God did. And he took the decision of to start his own small group. Took the decision to fall down. And when the Bible said that when this angel fell down, he took also the death quota of the angels. That never be a problem to God. God never regret for that. God never left the throne for that. God he was on the throne with other angels which continually worship God in his presence. Yeah, Amen. They were there night and day saying, Saint, Saint is the Lord God, the creator, the almighty. With their wings, Six wind, the Bible says. Two to cover the face. Two to fly with. And two to cover the feet. 
standing in his presence. But the big number was being taken down. God will never make it a problem. Amen. But when the race, the human race fell down, God left the throne. He took the decision to come down. He made himself one of us so that he can redeem us and get us back to our initial position. You see how much you value before God. And everything he does, starting with the creation, is all about you, the love God has for you and me. Amen. Even went so far, because that love he was for himself. He kept it for long for himself. But he wanted to express the love. So that you also, you can know, like our wives, they want some time to hear that I love you. Really, you first say in the, the eyes, you say, honey, I love you. She wants to hear that. God also did the same. Said, God so loved the world. So loved the world. Until he, he, he look around, there was Caribbean. There was uh, all these things. There was the throne himself with the four beasts. He said, what shall I give them? He said, no, I give them love. I give them myself. And he amorphed himself. He made himself the body. When can he enter him? When can he enter in? So that he can communion with you and I. That is the mystery. The mystery of love of God. There is no another way God could express his love to the human race. He lowered himself and he became one of us until he went to the cross and he died. But look to the scenario now. When he's at the cross with these two gentlemen, one on the, the right and another one on the left. When people, they were speed on him, speaking things. And this one, on the left, is enjoying his, his uh, actually what he worked for. They were thieves. They were robbers. They were killing people. But they put them together with our Lord. This one is looking at him, saying, you, you were saying that you are the king. But can't you free yourself? And free us also. This other one look at him, he say, you are foolish. Amen. Look at him, say that you are foolish. As we deserve this. But not this man. There is nothing wrong with this man. So this one is a revelation. This one was not anything. Amen. So we cannot act like the group. The word of God is not a group matter. It's an individual matter. Actually, it's the matter of revelation. If God revealed to you, he can reveal to the husband, but not to the wife. He can reveal to the wife, not to the husband. But what we need is to be in connection with him. Amen. Yeah, to be in connection with him. We are living the most dangerous age. The most dangerous period. And the Bible in this period requires one thing. To be in debt to one another. Not debt of money. Not to borrow money. Not to do whatever. But let us read what the Bible wants us to have. Amen. Amen. So we will read in the book of, uh, I think it's Psalm. Because love is the most important thing God could give to the race. 
to the human race. Love is the most important things that God could give. There is no other things than that. We go to Romans, please. Romans 13. Romans 13, 8 to 11. Today, Christian motto must be love. Not to make a love. Love from inside. The love of God. That is our motto. Now let's see what love does. Romans chapter, two, chapter 13 verse 8. Own no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another have fulfilled the law. The fulfilling of the law of God is by love. Because the Bible says, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. So, the commandment of God, when you keep it, is your way of expressing your love toward God. Because God loves us, the first one. And in return, we keep the commandment of God. In keeping the commandment of God, walking with it is our way of expressing our love toward God. The Bible says that. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. That is another one. False witness. Why are you explaining me with uh, all this? Hey, were, were you there? Were you there? Don't give false, false witness. Don't think and make it that say the Lord. Amen. Thou shalt not covet. And uh, if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So the Bible says that if there was another commandment, which maybe they, they forget to say, which maybe they bypass, but it goes in this one, thou shalt love your neighbor like thyself. In this generation, it's very difficult. If already Brother Branham in 16, in 1965, we were not even born, we were saying that uh, in this generation, there is no love. Amen. Love worketh not ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that knowing the time, that now it is I, time to awake out of sleep. For now, ah, this is very important. For now is our salvation near than then we believed. So the only, thing, the only thing which is different, amen, with uh, Christian life, is in Christian life there is no older, old, uh, 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 oldest people, oldest people because they came before. No, if they can call us elders, it's just because the Bible says that we are not elders in the message. We are not elders in the face of God. In the face of God, you can come today, 30 minutes before, and someone who came years before, you still the same. Amen. Amen. You still the same. But here, the Romans is calling us to where to awake. Because the, the, the redemption is near. It's not according to the time. No. 
It's according to the events. It's according to what is happening now. It's according to what the Lord Jesus Christ promises us. When you'll see this, when you'll see this, when you'll see this, when you'll see this, that is our time. Amen. Let me tell you, the salvation is not bind to the space. Oh, if I can, uh, maybe today I took the decision to travel to go to Jerusalem or Israel. Yeah. It's just tourism. Yeah. It's just tourism. Yeah. I'm just, just going to watch my eyes, yeah. to clean my eyes, to see. Yeah. There is nothing there, even in the tomb of Jesus Christ. Yeah. If I go there, yeah. it's, just, it's just empty. It's just, that's nothing. Yeah. Because if salvation was bound to the space, Oh, let God say that I, I sent salvation in South Africa, for example. And it was God supposed to bless us equally. So that if maybe I am sick and I'm staying in Congo and I want to get healed, so I will come here, here in South Africa, I will take my visa, take my passport and the money to pay the hotel. Then I, I've made it. But salvation... God never put salvation in the space. He never put salvation somewhere. Salvation is through the word of God. If you believe, then you receive it. Yeah, man. When Peter went there, and these people came to him, said, we want also to receive what you have. What he told them? Yeah. First of all, repentance. And be baptized. And he, 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 after, after you, after you repent. Because the repentant, no one can repent for your sins. You must do it yourself. Amen. You must repent for your sin yourself. Amen. No one can bear your, your sins and repent on your behalf. No one knows your sin like yourself. When I'm standing here, my sins are passing before me. My sins are passing before me. I can see them one by one. You know your sins. Repent and be baptized. After this thing, he shall receive now the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That now is the token that gives you the right to stand and speak. Speak to your father. The only thing which gives this Portuguese son to go back and say, in my father's house, it's because he knew that he was the son in the house. Amen. And the father was willing every day looking for uh, watching if the son could come back. So salvation is not a matter of what you think. Salvation is in the word of God. You believe you repent and you you be baptized and you get now the gift from God. Amen. Amen. Salvation is not even money. We cannot make mistake and think that uh, if I am in this message, then I've got money. I got it. No. Money is not everything. Yeah, money is not everything. Amen. Riches act, 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 actually is not everything. Yeah. There is a lot of things yeah. which the word of God can give you yeah. than money. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Money is not everything, I repeat. Yeah. And there is a lot of things which money miss and money cannot buy. Yeah. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. We know great people in the Bible. Yeah. We know our, our father in the faith, Abraham. Abraham has money. The Bible says Abraham has money. In, 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 in such a way that uh, even the time before God gave him the son of the promise, Abraham could complain and say that I'm dying now without children. And Eliezer will take over. But it's what is happening. And when Abraham died, with everything Abraham do, did, he knew. Abraham went like anyone. He died. And 
and it needed the Lord Jesus Christ go down and free them. Even Isaiah. They were kept. They were kept. That way, Brother Brandon preached the message, souls which are in prison now. Amen. So, don't just think that uh, if this brother has got money, or if me have got money, I'm, I'm blessed and I've made it. No. <laughs> money, money is, 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 for this, is for this life. God, 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 it's got nothing to do with money. But I'm not saying that uh, if you are rich, you cannot go to heaven. No. It depends on what are you dealing with the word of God. What is your regard toward the word of God? What is the respect you attach to it? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Uh, there was a pastor who was saying that uh, there is some other people, oh, that is Brother Victor. If he gets us a tau. <laughs> yeah. If just he got a tau. The brother, he will behave. The brother will behave. There is some other brother, if he could just money, he becomes sleepless. The brother cannot sleep, he needed some tablets. For him to sleep. Amen. Man is nothing. Psalm 49. Amen. Psalm 49. Man is nothing, brother. But we must, in this life, we need money. We need money in this life. Yeah, because sometimes we need things here in the church. And those things divide them with money. So, as a child of God, we need money. And, but we cannot chase money. Money must chase us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. If they increase just your salary, three, three weeks you are not coming to church. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that is poverty in the spirit. That is poverty in the spirit. Because they increase your salary, now you can sit and say, ah, I can relax. Today's service, then you send the message. Brother, I will be not be with you. I will be with my money. Money is nothing, brother. Abraham was a rich man. And when the Bible said that Abraham was rich, he was rich indeed. And not these uh, crooked riches. Someone just take someone something from someone and sell it and tell it and make money. No, 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 no. That is money in the good way. Money. Even God knew that this one, I've blessed him. Amen. If your money was good, why you don't pay tight? If it was good, why? Why you don't pay tight? Why? Why you don't pay tight if your money, it was a good money? Why? You keep it for yourself. Because you know. Okay, that is not our message. Amen. So, Psalm chapter 49. And uh, before, because of time, we read from uh, 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 verse uh, 6. They that trusted in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches. You see, this thing does not start today. You are not the first one to boast. That spirit was there. That spirit was there. People don't boast. They say that I've got money anyway. What am I going to do to church? Yeah, man. None of them can by any means redeem. Ah, we need just the the, the redeemer from above. None of them can redeem his brother. No give God any ransom. What are you going to buy for God? What are you going to give to God? And today I've seen some, uh, some people when they, they, they not here, I'm, I'm saying now, <laughs> when they want to put where we're coming from, back, 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 back there. <laughs> when they want to put now 
if they've got good money now today to put for offering, then they will delay. They will go slowly. Then they will take it from the pocket, putting it, and go back. But when they don't have, they will close the, the end. And they, they put deeper in the... Amen! Yeah, that is the spirit of poverty. <laughs> if you know that this man is not belong to you, you'll put any owl. You'll be you'll be you and you God. Amen. You'll be you and you God. You can give a tau to God. It's not a problem. You can go, you can give to God two tau. It's not a problem. You can give a half tau. It's not a problem. It's what you know that this is what I have to give to my God. Amen. And that, it gives you joy. Amen. So look what the riches. Poor and rich. We die. And we left. Today I don't know who will take my shoes. I don't know. Yeah. But that is not a problem. It's not a problem. I enjoy them when I'm here. When I die, someone will take. That's good. But what I have to do? To be in line with the word of God. Amen. Yeah, we don't say that we, we stay here poor. No, we must have money. If we can have, if God give us, we, like me, I need them. I need them. I need money. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I need money, brothers. <laughs> yeah, money for, to make the, the work of God to go forward. Because if the minister come here and then uh, we put him in the five-star hotel, you, you, you don't think that that minister, when you go back, he cannot pray for me. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he will pray. And God, when the minister is happy, God also is what? Amen. God also is happy. And that man was like this. Then he become like this. Then he become like this. Then he become like this. When I die, people, they enjoy. Amen. That is life here. But that does not have anything to do with the things of God. Those are the benefits of Christianity. Those are the benefits of Christianity. Amen. Yeah, it's like the pastor was saying on Sunday. That our, our message, in the message of the, in the end time message, is rapture. Amen. Yeah. Is rapture. Everything we can do, we are going just around rapture. We go, we go, we go, we go, we come to the rapture. Because rapture is our, our focus. It's actually the line of separation with domination. It's what makes us different. Yeah. It's rapture. That way, that way the devil does not lack. The devil does not lack these two books. Genesis and the Revelation. Because in Genesis, they, 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 they speak how they make him, how they kill him, how they eat him. And in the Revelation, there is another battle. Ever fought before, which is waiting for him. So us, we cannot accumulate money, 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 and stay here. No, to do what here? Yeah, cannot accumulate. Yeah, we look for money some time for this body. But we must look for him. For this body. Because what matters is not this body. It's this body. Because this one is temporary. And I don't know where they, they can even when you die, they can even throw it away. Nothing. Worms already they are inside. Walking with them, feeding them, give him some salt, give him some vinegars, give him everything. But when we die, when we die, they can even throw us. It's just by respect they, they, they can make those uh, coffin, whatever. It's nothing. You are not there. You are there. Amen. And the sun, so if we think that we are there, we must care too much for that one. Amen. God bless you, Rishini. For the redemption, nine, eight, for redemption of their souls, is precious. You see, the redemption of the souls, you can be poor, you can be rich. What matters to God 
is the redemption of your soul. Someone can be, you are born normally, and after some time, you get, you get involved into the accident, and they amputate your legs. And you are now in the wheelchair. Or you make accidents, and the brain maybe is no longer right, and you start being like this. That does, cannot take your salvation. If you are saved, this body will go like this. But when you get there, <laughs> amen, <laughs> hallelujah, what is matters is the inner man. But the outside also, he must show that the inner man is correct. Yeah. Let's say you are married, but you are always yourself, you can go to the market. Your wife is there. Say, no, I must see the, my money the way I, I'm spending. The way I'm spending my money, I must see clear. So you call your wife, honey, what can I buy for you? <laughs> then she starts giving you the list. <laughs> She's not happy. A, a ministry is not to you to take home food. No. Take the money to the wife. Sit with her. Make a list together. Yeah. There is no surprise. I want to surprise you with what? What 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 do you want to what do you want to, to surprise you hey, with? Yeah, Amen. What do you want to surprise you hey, with? Hmm? I want to surprise you. What? Every day is a surprise. Surprise. But the surprise is cabbage. The surprise is meat. No. Surprise her also. Surprise her also to tell her that uh, the Bible says that husband we must love our wife. So, Annie, I love you. Here is the money. Here is every money. Now we must pay this credit. This one, we must do this. How do you, how do you see? How do you see? She must tell you also something. Hmm? It's a you come on, with cabbage. <laughs> no, 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 no. Huh? No, 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 no. No, no, no. We are in this body. And uh, we must feel, we must feel everyone in his, his position, in his duty. Amen. Some, everyone must feel his duty. Everyone must stand in his position. And it's where God will bless us. Being in our position. Amen. Being in our, our position. Yeah. It, it, it's not to do, you take the job of this one. You, why, why, why you don't wash the clothes? Why you don't wash the clothes? If you want to help her, why you want to do all the clothes? You say that today, I will wash the clothes, I will sweep the house, I will do everything for you. You sleep there. I, I can see that you are tired. Ch three children, you are tired now. I can do for you. Why you don't do that? Why you don't do that? Even to come to church, she can come before or let you come to your time and whatever. The, the only day when you all the ends, it was when after, so you had the marriage today, the following day, you all the end so that the, the preacher can see that we keep together. Yeah, I thank God, amen. I thank God for the pastor Banda, what he says here. Because if it was a local minister, speaking, I'm not a minister, me here. Just the grace of God being that standing in the deacon board, which allows me to speak today like this. Yeah, I'm not allowed. Yeah, but the ministry, the office, give me the right to speak. So let me empty myself. Amen. God bless you. So the pastor says all. He said it all. Pastor Banda said it all. Amen. So, eight, the Bible says, for their redemption of their souls is precious. Very precious is what God can look at. He's looking at the redemption of our souls because he's the keeper of our souls. He's actually the manufacturer of our souls. And he wants to see the souls originally the way he manufactured it. Don't fake it because you, can, you cannot even try. Amen. And it ceases and it ceases forever. That he should still 
live forever and no see corruption. They are speaking here about uh, riches and, then, uh, and uh, wealth because this thing cannot separate us the love of God. This thing cannot, but uh, they can come to us. Riches can come and we can claim it. It's one of our uh, benefits. Then, for it seems that wise men died. Wise men, they can die. Wise. Here they are speaking about wise, not the wise according to the Bible. The, the wise in the society. Politicians. They can die. And they leave everything. But the Bible never finished. Say that uh, likewise, the fool and uh, the brutish person perish and they leave their wealth to the others. So, if, if, if today you die and you are having a lot of goods and others they enjoy, you are not the first one. You are not the first one. There were people even, even, even in the time of Jesus Christ, there were people standing on the corner of the street. That it was before COVID came. They were standing in the streets looking for job, looking for people to hire them. Is the way the Lord Jesus Christ get the inspiration of, expla uh, of explaining to people how the kingdom of God works. He says like this, who are standing on the streets waiting for someone to come and hire them. Those which was hired before and those who, which came later at 11 hour, they all pay them the same amount. He, get, he got that inspiration because he saw it. Amen. So you are not the first one who complaining, ah, COVID, ah, COVID, COVID almost kills me. COVID kills you. You were like this. You were like this. How you see this COVID, we need maybe to jump. Then when, when you are sitting, you are saying, ah, Brother Cassandra, him also. He, he, he's not even in church uh, the whole week. But he's speaking about people who are absent in church. Yeah, I have to say it. Yeah, you don't know where I, where, uh, yeah, you don't know why I am not in church. Yeah, uh, me, I'm speaking for you. Me, I'm speaking for you. The day you'll get also time to come here, you'll speak also for me. But let me first speak for you. Amen. Yeah, let me speak for you. Oh, this COVID, this COVID is killing me. This COVID, this COVID is nearly killing me. There is nothing. But when the Lord Jesus Christ died, what he said? He said, by my, we read it, we read, just read it now. He said, by my, my strength, you way, you way. It's not you are, you way. So we were healed. Before, even COVID, if COVID, there is a COVID-19, which we are dealing with now. If there will be COVID-22, we will we'll pray. If there will be COVID-23, we will pray. If there is COVID-40, if the, the Lord tarries and we're still here, we will pray. Amen. No, we cannot take those situations and bind it to our lives. Anything they ask you, brother, how, what, what is happening? Brother COVID. <laughs> COVID does not have nothing to do with this. We were healed before the foundation of the world. We were healed of COVID before COVID manifest. So we are healed and we accept that and we take it. Yeah. Me, myself, I had COVID. I don't know how many times. <laughs> yeah, there is time I there's some time I say it, sometimes I just keep it myself. Yeah. I've got COVID, I got COVID, I got COVID. That I know it. Now I even they know me by the pharmacy. I will come and say that give me the package. They know that is for COVID. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah, may God bless you this way. So wealth or money is not that uh, the evidence that you got it. Or if you don't have it, it's not the evidence that those who have it. They are better than you. No. They are not better than you. In the Bible, there was someone in Psalm 73. Uh, 23 uh, to 28. I think this one, we read it at home. 
there was someone who was complaining. Them, ah, you, you are better. And these are better. Because read the Bible. And uh, when they went to the house of the Lord, and he had the sentence of that one who heard it, he repented. Eh? God is not looking at the body. Those are the things which are condemning us. Because if it was that, Jesus Christ our Lord, he went with Mary and Joseph to Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem, that time, it was a, a, a big center of trading. Like today, Dubai. They went there. They were going not there to preach. Them too. No. <laughs> they went for business, for trading. Because it was the place at that time when you want to go to do the trading, uh, the, to change and stuff, you go to Jerusalem. And they went there. In their trading market, they left Jesus. They walked. The Bible says that they walked for six hours. They didn't notice eh, that he was not with them. Amen. But when they notice, hey, he's not with us. Let us go back. And Brother Branham said, where you left him is right there. Go and find him. Amen. When they went there, they came with the, this speech. Oh, your mother and your father, they are looking for you. Me and my father, we are looking for you. And Jesus gave them the answer. If today it was your child, you say that this child is impolite. He knew what he was talking about. So he just to show that what matters too much, the inner man, the business of the father. We can go left, right. You must go to the business of the father. What have I done from Monday to Sunday for my father? In everything. In everything. In everything. You check everything. Am I right with this? Am I right with this? Am I right with this? Then you go to the night. Amen. I think uh, we're going to read uh, in the message uh, uh, one, uh, one uh, in a million. Reach uh, in on the 24th and April 1965. Paragraph 3 and paragraph 7. And see. But because some other news, uh, they are not good. Bring just news, some news for 20 years past, but bad news. Why are you bringing it to me? You must bring you good news. Good news, even if it was uh, years. When you bring it to someone, it gives him, it gives him the joy. Actually, it gives him compassion. It gives him joy. Yeah. 1965, 04, 24. Paragraph 3, the prophet is saying this. Just as I got top of the steps, I am looking at this, at the old gentleman now. And he came up to me and said, Brother Branham, years ago, he said he had heart trouble so, he, uh, so bad that he, he they, they thought, he was going to die. And they had prayer for him. And the grace of God healed him. And uh, he's, uh, uh, this morning, uh, way in his uh, 18s, just rejoicing. So that uh, makes us take new hope. You see, someone stopped Brother Branham. Yes, this thing happened years ago. And this Madala is now around 80s. And he came to Brother Branham to remind him good thing. To remind him to the grace of God. What the, growth of the, growth of the grace of God has done in his life. He said, Brother Branham, we, we remember. Years ago, I came to you. 
I had some trouble with my heart. And you pray for me. And God healed me. And Brother Branham was now giving the testimony to the church that this man is here in his 80s. So it was maybe when they, they prayed for him, he was maybe in the 60s, maybe in the 50s. But now he's in the 80s. Good news. You can stop someone just to tell him good news. They say that, brother, you remember. We were, you remember that place. What you did to me. <laughs> if I was not a Christian, brother, <laughs> I am telling you. <laughs> that is not Christianity. Amen. Amen. I'm not saying that we can do that. But that is not Christianity. Christianity is to bear the fault of uh, one another. Yes. Amen. Yes. Seven. And I know, I know to the radio audience, perhaps many of you are not full gospel. And this may seem a little mysterious to you which it will to me, but there's anyone who can explain anything. You don't have to accept it anymore by faith. So, Brother Branham here is explaining. He's saying that you cannot explain God. You cannot explain faith. You cannot explain this thing. Accept the faith. Because faith is what believe on our behalf. When I'm saying on our behalf, it's taking, it's taking absent of the body. So faith in a way it is in our souls. Faith is believing in our behalf. Is what Brother Branham is trying to explain here. He's saying that you cannot explain God. You cannot try to explain the, the, what is happening in the realm of things of God. You cannot Actually, you cannot accept, uh, 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 explain God. Okay? Uh, it is things that we cannot explain, that we have to accept by faith. Just by faith, we accept. Like the word of God, there is some other things. You cannot uh, uh, understand how I become, how, how, with this, what I have. Then you will stay in that situation. You think that you still bind. But you are buying because you are going back to what you were doing before. Before you believe you were doing the same thing. But now you believe 20 years, you are doing the same thing. So you, 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 you are just an unbelief. Yeah, that, that is the word. You are just an unbelief. Amen. So you don't believe because if you believe, you will forsake that. And you will make now, you will, you will will. You will be willing to, to, to get a new life. To work with God. Amen. We can't explain God. No man can explain God. He is sovereign. And uh, he's great. And might. We just, we just accept. it because that we know he is there. That's all. We know that God is there. Even people who are refusing that God, the atheist, who are refusing that God is not there. This year, this year, let me tell you, they accept. Because when COVID hit them, they accept, they know that there is someone. Because they were different. There were people who they could bring them to the hospital. In the worst case together. But this one is a believer. He refused that uh, oxygen. He said that I will pray. And he's coughing and praying, coughing and praying. He's, he's healed. But this one, they put the machine and everything. He died. So they accepted. Hey, the neighbor was having someone else. There is a lot of people whom th those who were seen seed of God, they repented and they went to the to 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 to, to follow uh, God, to follow a, a life. Because they understood that here there is no life. Life is on the other side. So life is not money. Life is not what you think that it can be. Life is the grace of God. Only. And the grace of God is to accept. Is to accept. To be humble with God. Reverent with God. And there you will see the hand of God. And all this, it's just fitting in faith. Amen. amen. Faith with God. Amen, amen. 
And I think that uh, I'm getting to the end. But the message today is rapture. The return to the bishop, to the master of our souls, to the pastor. Because the good shepherd, shepherd, he knows how to take care of his own. And that is not by intellect thinking. That is not by uh, uh, what you think that you can make it. It's only by faith. And the faith is available tonight. If somewhere where you are, Amen. you can be 20 years in the message. You can be whatever. You are even the confounder of this church. I don't know where you started. But what I know is grace is available tonight. For you and for I. I will cry for my own sin. Also where you are. Look on into the other life. And you can see that God has done it all. But the only thing is there which remain for you is to step in. To take the decision. is later than you think. Time has gone. If they are saying that there is no more time. There is no more time. They said wake up. Wake up. Because there is no more time. This time we are living is almost illustrate to the time of the ten virgin. They were all virgin. They were all virgin. But they were five. They were wise. And five, they were fools. Don't be virgin. Because you keep your virginity. And you keep it but wrong. Don't do like this child. Where Brother Branham speaks of this child who took the bed. Small bed. He was, that bed was on the rain. And he was so trembling because of the cold and the water. And this small daughter, she took the bed and she wanted to home it up. It was a good, good decision. But she used a very wrong instrument. She put in the macro, in the microwave and the bed died. Yeah, you can kill your bed not knowing. But you know that you are doing the right things. But here, my brother, my sister, I'm calling to your conscience. Just go deep in yourself and see what you can do tonight. If you put it for tomorrow, maybe tomorrow you don't know what tomorrow can bring. The time is now to believe and to think about the word of God. I'm not the pastor. I'm not the one. Even the pastor cannot save. The one save is the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's only by believing and accepting and recognizing you fought where you fell down and take another decision to walk. May the Lord God bless you richly. Well, we are preparing for the prayer. I can ask the musician to join me so that we can sing our song where we are dreaming how we will be walking in that place, marching in Zion. We will be marching in the golden streets. Can you imagine in golden streets? There is no country. Even in Dubai, there is no golden street. But God is that. He prepared it for you and me where we will go to walk. When we are singing this song, we will sing until the pastor will come forward. And if you feel like you need some special prayer or you need to, the Lord to remember you, just close your eyes and uh, Lift up your hands. Myself, I need it. I put my hand also on him. Come with that love, the Lord, and let the joy be known. Johnny, in a song with sweet accord. Johnny, in a song with sweet accord. Oh, 
Hey.